Three, two, one. It's the greatest podcaster to ever exist on this planet, Mr. Dr. Cyber Mace. Slash, aka Dr. Cyber Gangster. Anyway, let me tell you something, people. Let me tell you something. Education is communication. Communication is education. Let me repeat that for the people who cannot listen or do not want to know. Education is communication. Communication is education. If you want to be able to communicate with people, you must be able to educate them. You know why? Because education breeds light. Education breeds awareness. And if I'm communicating, if I'm communicating to you, and you do not understand what I am telling you, if I'm not enlightening your brain to understand what I'm telling you and educating you upon the words and the vibrations coming out of my voice, you're not going to listen. Straight up. <laughs> It don't matter what I'm talking about. You're not going to listen. See, let me tell you about education communication. So say, for example, if I tell you there is a fire next door, I have just enlightened you with information that is pertinent to your life that you must understand. Holy shit, there's a motherfucking fire next door. I need to get away or I need to get some water to figure out how to help myself. And if you can explain that in every aspect of life, same thing for sales, like, you need to buy this because if you do not buy this in the future, you will be in a fucked up position. And so, as you begin to understand, education is just communication. Communication is education. If you cannot explain clearly what you are trying to tell people from what you are perceiving in your mind, you're going nowhere in life. You'll be stuck in the same circle, just running around, looking like a crazy person. And that's why I get so pissed off when all these people try to be cryptic and fade deep. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, nigga, what? Like, bro, it's the darkest of the sun, and that's why I be moving like the gun. What? What are you talking about? Like, bro, are you telling me it's dark outside? What, what is it done? Are you talking about like a sand? Like, what are you? And that's what I'm saying with people. People be trying to communicate to you in words that don't make any fucking sense, and they, they, and they expect you to interpret what they are telling you. And I'm looking at you like, bro, what? I don't understand what you're saying. Like, I had a, I had a situation with somebody. And I, I put my weight on the Instagram machine. Like, I put it on 188. I'm like, I'm in striking weight to get ready to fight. And I get these messages from dumb dumbs telling me, hey, you're, you're too small to fight middleweight. And I ask, why am I too small to fight middleweight? Well, because have you ever seen a middleweight that was 5'8"? What is that? What does 5'8 have to do with being a middleweight? Middleweight's a weight class. Well, you know what I'm saying. No, I don't know what you're saying. Please explain it to me. Oh, you're trolling me. And I'm looking at these motherfuckers like, bro, are you serious? Like, middleweight is 185. If I am below 185, I can fight middleweight. <laughs> That's all it means. It doesn't matter if I'm 5, 1, or 6, 7. It's, it doesn't make a difference. You don't see people telling, oh, a 6, 7 middleweight, you can't fight middleweight. You're too tall. Well, for some reason, if you're too small or too short, now you can't fight middleweight. People are dumb. And that's what you got to understand. People are dumb. They don't understand how to communicate. And because they can't communicate, they get frustrated because you don't understand what they're trying to tell you. What he's really trying to say is, I watch UFC, and what I see is people who have smaller frames tend to do tougher times in that particular weight class. But it's still telling me that, which would be an opinion, because technically you don't know if I can beat somebody up because you have not seen it. What are we talking about here? And it seems so surreal, but that's why I try to explain it to me. If you want to get the heart of people, you want to be able to enlighten people and have people follow you, you got to be able to educate them. You got to be able to explain things that people don't understand and make it clear so they have an understanding of how this is something that could uh, be positive to their life or they might deconstruct their life. And when you understand that facet, it just makes life so much easier. Like sales gets easier, girls get easier, working out. Everything in life gets easier when you can communicate through education. Like if you're talking to a young lady, you want to go on a date or something, you have to enlighten her. You have to educate her on why it is a smart move for her to go on a date with you. You understand she has a thousand guys in her inbox. She gets approached 20 times a day. Why should she take her time, her precious time to go go on a date with you? If you can't clearly convey that you need to go out with me, because of blank, blank, and blank, she's going to look at you like, well, no thank you, and, ah, and just walk off. And that's why so many guys fail with women, because they don't educate. <laughs> you don't explain why you should be here and why this makes sense. <laughs> and, that's, <laughs> and that's like 99% of life. Just explain to people, why are we here? How does this benefit you, not yourself? How does it benefit you, the viewer? And what's going to be the outcome for that person? 
if both of us are able to interact with each other. Because if you can't explain this, there's no point in even conversating with people. Go read books and go write until you can understand how to <laughs> communicate with people. I'm tired of it. All these cryptic people. That's why, you see, this and this is really the entertainment industry's fault. Completely the entertainment industry's fault. And social media. Because the entertainers, they keep this mysterious veil. And it's a whole marketing thing that makes people be like, oh my God, this person, they're so mysterious. I got to find more. And because they just promote that bullshit so often to you, we got regular folks who are on Instagram who now think they're celebrities. I got 10,000 followers. Bro, if, 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 if I don't even like, I think about these influencers sometimes, and like just the, the, the unself awareness of most influencers just walking amongst the world. Like, I have 100,000 followers. Like, if Mr. Beast was walking around by Barbie Clopics, I wouldn't know who he is. I would just look at this guy like he looks like a regular white dude. <laughs> Like, even if I saw Drake, the only reason I, I don't even think I would, like, because <laughs> I think about this stuff. These guys are so irrelevant to my daily life. If anything, they're a detriment because they teach these kids how to be dumb. And that's what I'm tired about. Like, really, if I saw Drake walk around my, my apartment complex, I would look at this guy like, who's this stranger walking around with this weird tattoo on his face and tattoos of Lil Wayne and stuff? And why is he, why is he have an entourage for it? And I would go back to my apartment and carry on my business making YouTube videos. <laughs> Swinging bases. Like, <laughs> but anyway, I say, I have to say, at the end of the day, communication is education. Education is communication. Understand these facts, and you will prosper in life, and life gets so much easier. But it starts with you. You got to educate yourself first so you know thyself. Once you know thyself, you can explain thyself to other people, and other people will be like, oh, that makes some sense. Like how I am doing right now with this video. Thank you.